Hey, this is Mr. Mason, and what we're going to do in this tutorial is calculate the surface area of a composite figure, which is comprised of a rectangular prism and half of a cylinder. What we're going to do first is calculate the surface area of the rectangular prism, but we should note that only five of the six surfaces are actually exposed to the surface. This top surface of our rectangular prism is covered up by this half of a cylinder, so we can only include five of those surfaces in our calculation. Now, this front face here is a square, and it is a 6 by 6 square. And we have two of those 6 by 6 squares. And we also have two surfaces that are 6 by 8. Actually, we have a third one down here. All right, because we have a square surface, technically all four of those sides that are connected to the two squares would be congruent to each other, but we can't include this top one. So let us go ahead and say we actually have three surfaces that are six by eight. All right, let's go ahead and simplify this expression. We have two times 36 plus three times 48. Two times 36 is 72, and three times 48 would just be three times 50, which is 150 minus six, so that would be 144. Now we're gonna add these two together and that would give us a total of 216 square inches. So we would say that the area of the five exposed surfaces is equal to 216 square inches. All right, now we have to figure out what the surface area is of the half cylinder. Now, the formula to find the surface area of an entire cylinder is two times pi radius squared plus pi times diameter times the height of the cylinder. Now remember, we're only calculating half of that surface area, so whatever this final result is, we have to divide that by two. All right, let's go ahead and substitute whatever the radius value is, the diameter value, and the height value is. And we're gonna start by solving in terms of pi, and at the end, we're gonna substitute pi with 3.14. So we're gonna take two times pi times radius, and the radius is the distance from this point to the edge, and that's half of the square's length, and half of six is three, so we have to take three and square that, plus pi times diameter, and the diameter is always double the radius, so we have six, and the height is determined by the distance between the two circular surfaces, and this would be the height of our cylinder right here, and that would be the same as this rectangle's edge, which is eight inches. All right. Remember, we have to divide this entire figure by two. All right, let's simplify a bit more. So we're gonna take two times pi times three to the second power, which is nine, plus six times eight, which is 48 pi, divided by two. All right, now we're gonna take two times nine, which is 18, and that is 18 pi. And we're gonna combine that with 48 pi. Basically, what we're doing here is combining like terms, and of course we have to divide by two. All right, so 18 plus 48 is 66 pi, and we have to divide that by two, and that is gonna give us 33 pi. All right, now what we're gonna do is substitute pi with 3.14 and multiply that by 33. Three times 314 is 942, and Another three times 314 is 942. And that is gonna give us a total of 103.62 square inches. All right, so we would say that the exposed surface area of that half cylinder is 103.62. And we have to add that to the exposed surface area of the rectangular prism, which is 200. 16 square inches, and that is going to give us a total surface area of 319 and 62 hundredths square inches. Now the problem is asking us to round to the nearest square inch, so we would round this figure to 320 square inches.